In case you weren't already aware, we seem to be the hub of the UK music scene at the moment. It's all happening here, and here's the very best example in Liverpool's Cafe Society. You're here to witness one of Liverpool's top bands producing some old favourites and some new songs. A very nice, warm Liverpool welcome, please, for Phil Jones and Afraid of Mice. Well, in the old days, there was about 400, sort of in the merge of these days, estimated to be about 400 groups going. If you travel that figure now, you'd probably have a good kind of figure for the Merseyside area. There's well over a thousand groups, at least. Um, it's like an iceberg, you know, you see on the surface just tip. Uh, unemployment plays in a tremendous part at the moment. There's a lot of groups, uh, of, as you call groups, getting together. Uh, kids or whatever that you don't see, um, you don't hear about, they're just making music in their homes. If you're on the dole and you've got nothing to do all day and you, you find inspiration through music, you'll, you'll, you'll play music together. But it's like the big dream that perhaps one day you'll find the fame. And, and for the average kid who sees a group making it in the charts from Liverpool, then he'll say, right, well, I can do better than that. You know, and he'll do it. He'll go and try and do it anyway. I belong to Liverpool. Um, see, we haven't achieved any sort of national success. And the people of Liverpool don't need to be told by national um, machinery or whatever, you know, the, uh, the music industry. They don't need to be told by them that we're a worthwhile sort of venture or something worth investigating. They've discovered that for themselves. And uh, the relationship I've always felt is fairly intimate, you know, and it, I definitely feel there's a thing that we belong to each other. Uh, I play for people, I mean, that, that's the most important thing to me is the, the audience, the people that I'm playing for, it's, it's uh, you know, it's most of the reason I do it. Do you want to be well known? Obviously, yeah. I mean, the minute you take a guitar out of your bedroom and you go downstairs and play your first song to your mum, if your dad's in the living room, you prefer the idea that he was in the, be in the back kitchen too so that he could hear it. And the whole thing is just the development of that. You know, if you're playing it for yourself, then you would never come out of your bedroom. Phil is a very talented guy and has deserved to be a big success. Unfortunately, he's not quite made it yet. He's on the fringe. He's been knocking on the door for nearly a year now. Made some very good records. His strength is his songwriting and his stage presence. He's a very good showman, as anyone in Liverpool who's seen him will know. Uh, he started out with a group called Next, and in that group he used to hang himself on stage, which was one of the kind of gimmick stages, but next got signed up by CBS for a very big advanced deal that then got lost in the CBS structure and got put on the shelf and that was all that was ever heard of them. He then formed Afraid of Mice and with Afraid of Mice has made some good singles. The main problem with him is that it's all about the right combination at the right time. If, if everybody knew what would be a hit single then we'd all be millionaires, nobody does do. But if you get the right combination then you stand a very good chance. He made the right kind of singles, but with Charisma being perhaps a company that's not singles orientated, um, there wasn't the, the kind of promoting that the single needed. Um, what we look for is uh, an originality in the material and uh, an artist's capacity to, uh, to write, perform, and thirdly, to get it on with an audience. Uh, many artists only have perhaps two of these qualities, and they still come through. Uh, I think Phil has got three of them, all three, and given a little time and the right sort of support, the right sort of situations, he'll be a winner. What produces the hit is, is the reaction of people out there, you know, and you can't buy their ears, and you can't force them to buy records. 
that they will recognize the merit of a record sooner or later. And obviously, the record must have exposure, otherwise they can't exercise their judgment. But the people who make hits are the kids, and they're the only people, and you can buy posters, and you can buy page one of every national newspaper if you want to, and that has been tried in the past, uh, super hype. And it doesn't work. The final arbiter is the kid out there in the street with a pound and trying to get him into the record shop. Yeah, okay. So far, we've invested about 100,000 pounds in Phil Jones. And uh, I'm perfectly happy about it. It's uh, money well spent. It's, none of it's been particularly wasted. I'm just about earning a wage these days. Well, I'm probably on the, the highest wage you've ever earned. About 75 quid a week. That's pretty good. Once I remember watching Tally and somebody said, um, we're building a health centre and it'll cost 25,000 pounds. And I thought, I thought, dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that kind of money's been spent and there is very little to show for it. Charisma and Tony Stratton Smith have sunk uh, an awful lot of money into Phil. Mm. And he, he still hasn't made it anywhere in the region they would like him to, obviously. Mm. How long a life has he got, do you think, with charisma? If you think of it in terms of sort of a, a kind of a footballing idiom, that, that he's a top striker or a striker they've bought in the hope he's going to score the goal, he hasn't scored the goal, so you can't go on like that, not winning matches. Uh, and there's an awful lot of emphasis on this single doing something good. This mirror is coming out about 10 days, I think. How much depends on this mirror making the charts? Um, only this mirror. You know, there'll always be another one. Um, obviously, I hope that it sort of, it does the job of spreading the word around. Uh, but if it doesn't, we'll just do another one, and I keep on doing other ones. Will Charisma keep sinking money into you, though? Um, for a while, I mean, for a lot longer than the next single, yeah. But um, if they don't, I'm just as prepared to go back on the dole and start again. You know, I've, I've started again a few times.
established themselves, although perhaps not in this country, they've established themselves worldwide, enough to have a career, certainly out of the music business. Uh, Phil is still knocking on that door, um, hoping and waiting to get in. I think he will do. If talent was rewarded, then I think Phil Jones should be number one. Thank you.